Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red! Redification. Rectification. Rectums! I was gonna say something else, but I probably shouldn't. Anyways, today... I hate battles. I hate you, Seal. I hate you and your effect. That wasn't what I thought it was. But today, with the power and the awesomeness that is um, the cool guys at Cerebi.net, we go through the Seafoam Islands. They have a map, and I looked at it, and I think I remember the route. Think being the operative word. Now, there is a bird Pokemon here of note, but we will probably get that once we finish the main story. And honestly, I don't remember where to go from here. I think it's this one. It's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, this one. Is that? I think that's it. I think that's the one. I think that's where. I think that's where we have to go. The current is too fast. What? Okay, that's what the um. That's what the uh durka 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 boulders are for. To slow the current so you can go into that water. And up there at that water is the, the bird Pokemon that is of note. And that's where they tell you boulders might change the flow of water. Okay, cool. Now I just need to figure out what ladder I'm supposed to go through to get up here. Cause I don't remember. Probably should have kept that map handy, but I don't give no craps. I remembered how to get down. I just remember how to get up. Danger, fast current. Can I? I can't swim through here either, can I? Just to make sure. Oh no, I can't swim through here. Well, that's confusing. Is there anything down here? There's that thing. I found an ultra ball. Eh. Well, at least you know there's an ultra ball there. Oh, I guess. Wait a minute. Can you turn him? Okay, I was just wondering, can you just turn in place? Because I thought I just did that, but maybe it's just something weird. Anywho, let's go up this one. And then up here. And then over here. And then this is not the way. Damn! We're going to get lost here again, aren't we? It's going to be excellent. I traced the path. And I've at least gotten down to the point where I have to start going back up. But I don't remember where I have to go back up from. Damn. I wish I didn't throw those repels out. I really wish I didn't throw those repels out. I should be getting Katsu some levels, so I guess I'll just kill this one. Die! Good, you are dead. I keep getting cross eyed because I keep looking at the actual emulator window as well as the window of the debut, the preview window. Shelter! Get out of my face, Shelter. And I keep going cross eyed because I can see both at once. And one's bigger than the other, which is the debut capture window. So I keep looking at that one. But that one's got... I don't think it's got lag on it. But it just feels that way, man. Okay, wait. Yeah, there's nothing down there because it's just an exit. Why are there so many fights down here? Why did I throw those repels out? I'm going to bitch about this for the entire time we're in here. So annoying. What the hell? Slowpoke, you make everything better. Can you make the battle stop? It's my one problem with RPGs is random battles. I really like the way like Tales of Symph the Tales games, not just Tales of Symphonia, like all the Tales games and friggin' uh, just you know what I mean. Like battle, even if it's just not enemies straight up on the screen. Oh. Currents really fast. I was wondering why am I still going up? Okay, so this one. Whoops, not the way. This way. Yeah, I like it where even if it's just a symbol of enemies and then you have to go touch the symbol and then you get a random encounter, that's fine. Or if they just have the enemies on uh, the screen and you just fight them like in the world, that's fine too. Like, the way Final Fantasy XIII did it, although I don't think Final Fantasy XIII is a very good game, they did it pretty good. I like the way they did the battles. So that's how I want to play my battles. 
Random battles, especially with a high encounter rate like this, are just not good. Because in a game like this with random battles, you have to set an encounter rate. So like every time you step onto a new panel, you have a probability of landing on a... Uh, you have a probability of hitting a battle and entering. You know what I mean. You know words that I'm saying to you. The problem here is that it's very, very hard to find a good encounter rate. You don't want to set it to 50%, because that's friggin' that's not good. Don't do that if you're making a video game. 50% means every time I step onto a new panel, 50% chance I'm going to get into a battle. That's stupid. So it's really easy to set it too high, and it's really easy to set it too low, because if it's too low, then you just get to the point where, like, I'm way under level because there are no battles, and then grinding for battles sucks. And then there's this one where the, there's just too many battles. Like, holy crap. Okay, I need to get into that one. That was over on the right here. I need to get into that uh, ladder. That up ladder. So I need to somehow get right more. So how do I do that? Do I need, do I need to solve this puzzle to get through here? If I need to solve this puzzle, I'm going to be pissed. Because I don't have strength. Okay, so I... I think I have to go through that one. This sucks. Really, really sucks. Okay. Let me think here. Okay, because if I go up this one... I don't end up where I thought I was going to end up. Okay, I need to... I'm confused. Dugong! Hi, Dugong. But yeah. Back to random battles. Random battles, annoying as crap. I hate it. I wish I could just play more RPGs that had the thing that... See, look at this. This is stupid. I wish I could play more RPGs that had just enemies on the screen. Because that's good, too. But I'm also a guy who really likes action RPGs as opposed to just RPGs. Because I don't like rolling like dice. The one exception to this rule... Well, there's a couple exceptions, but the one I'm thinking of primarily is Final Fantasy IX. Because that game is awesome. I love Final Fantasy IX. And if I wasn't sure it would take me like two years to Let's Play it, I would probably Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. And hell, I might do it at some point anyways. Just, you know, whenever I feel like it records a Final Fantasy IX, because that'll get me to actually finish that game, because I don't usually finish it when I start playing it. I'll play through the first 30 hours or something, and then just drop it for something else that's new. But, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like I had to yell at the game for a minute, and I may as well have raged out loud, so that way there was something to talk about. What I'm gonna do, though, as soon as I get out of this goddamn cave... I'm gonna look at a friggin' map. How to friggin' get somewhere. The map... You know what? We're gonna go up that one. We're gonna see what's over there. What's up here? The problem with the map that Serebii had is the map... Unless I just misread it, because I'm stupid... Didn't have the boulders on the thing, so I thought that we could just get through here. And nope. Nothing to do here. So, I guess we need to get strength. Which means I need to go find out where strength is. Which means I need to go away for a second. Which means I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Cause F everything. And it's just pissing me off. And it gives me a good way to cut the video without having to just actually cut the video. Just like this. And just like that we're over at the Safari Zone. Guess what, guys? I forgot to get something here. So we're gonna waste another 500 poke bucks, special poke dollars, and we're gonna get back in here. There's an item I need to pick up in order to get strength. See, the problem with doing this without having played this game in about 11, 12 years is that I don't remember crap. And I never really played Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green, so I don't know if it's the same there. And even if I did, I wouldn't remember where to get it, because that game came out a long time ago. Anyway. The 
thing about the Safari Zone is that it's like far. I mean, not far. What am I talking about? So, how do I even? Where's? What am I doing here? Am I going this way? No. Of course not. Why am I even like trying to get around the water when I can just surf? I don't know. I need to be in Area Three. But the problem with Safari Zone is that. It takes forever to do anything, and there's too much stuff here. And that, god damn it, man. Trainer tips, raining time declines only while you walk. I already read that. Whatever. Don't care. Alright, area three. I believe it's area three. If they don't number these areas correctly, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, yeah. What we need to find here are golden teeth. The reason why the warden talks funny is because he's missing his teeth. I guess that must be the clue you need to find out where to get his teeth. And it probably says somewhere it's a video game. I don't really care. Just need to find the friggin' teeth. Where are they? I don't remember. Somewhere in Area 3, this guide says. I don't have the guide up, so I can't just read it. It's around here somewhere. How many steps do I have? 250. Well, I'm sure we'll find the teeth. If not, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey, Exegidor, are you teeth? You wouldn't happen to know where the teeth a bit you are, are do you? Could really use those teeth. I'm sure I've seen this item hanging around somewhere and I've just been stupid and hadn't got it. Actually, I, for some reason I want to say that you can't get the golden teeth until after you have Surf, so you have to actually go through the survive zone at least twice. But I probably made that up. We'll just surf and... friggin' cut down some time. Um, not this way. This way. There, teeth. That's probably teeth, right? It's gotta be teeth. If those aren't teeth, I'm gonna be pissed. I did toss out something. I don't remember what I tossed out. Oh, wait, no, I didn't toss it out. I was gonna toss it out, right? I'm gonna toss out, uh, Psywave, because I don't care. So, F you. Damn it! These aren't the teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. Where are the teeth? You, rest house. Okay. You are not teeth. Teeth, maybe. What's what's TM40 anyway? It is Skull Bash. That sounds fun. Yay, and everyone can learn it. Who needs a new move? Just Cuffs could use a move. Or does he need a move? Let's find out. What do you have? I don't even remember. Dig, Sosmic, Bide. No one needs Bide. Bide's for losers. Skull Bash like a real man, Fisticuffs. Protein! Damn it. Not it. Don't know where these teeth are. I should have looked it up. But I figured I would bring you in on me exploring to find where the teeth are. Anywho. Trainer tips. Secret house is still ahead. Damn it, we left the area. Yeah, we're leaving the area. Blimey! You, if you're the teeth, I'm gonna be pissed because that guide was wrong. You're not the teeth, but I'm gonna pretend you were. Protein, I don't remember what protein does. Freddy Katsu needs it. Yeah, Katsu probably needs it. Oh, they are the gold teeth. What the hell? Wait a minute. Wow. So that's the hint that you needed? Wow. Anywho, I guess they're right beside the secret house. Well, I'm stupid. Friggin' A. I hate everything. I hate everything. Just never come here again. Now let's go get strength. Because when you give him the golden teeth, he gives you strength. That's why that boulder's in that house, and that's why things... Yay! We're out of here. Just in time, too. We almost didn't get the gold teeth. Alrighty, let's give the bastard the teeth, and then... Knock his friggin' teeth in. Cross chop, head bash, skull bash. That'll give you some good practice, primate. Fist of cuffs. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Got to give someone strength. Who am I going to give strength to? I'll probably give it to Snorlax. So I was gonna give it to primate, but now you know skull bash. So, Rick, you gave the gold teeth to the warden. Now you can talk again. Warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No good. Understand a word that I said. It couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. Here's HMO4. 
Now, kiss my ass, and seal it with bubble gum. I don't know, whatever. Teach strength to a Pokemon. Sweet. Okay, everyone can learn it. Uh, Bruce Lee. We'll just give it to him. His moves suck. I didn't even realize he had four moves. What did I teach him? Toxic. Uh, yeah. We'll give it to Snorlax, I guess. What moves does he have? I literally don't remember what anyone's moves are. I remember he has Earthquake. I want Rest. I want Psychic. I want Earthquake. Get rid of Double Edge. Whatever. It was a good move, but... Apple's just kind of there to tank dudes, honestly. Alright, Apple God Strength. Apple God can now move boulders. Hell yeah. Kiss my ass. Damn, wait. What? Oh, because that takes the place of the gold teeth. Well, in that case... Um... I had two escape ropes? I didn't even know. Later. Weren't helping me. Rare candy. Cool. Okay. Alright. Rare candy. Who should we give the rare candy to? We'll give it to um, Pikachu. Because the sooner he gets to level 43 and learns thunder, the sooner I can turn him into a Raichu and he can be badass. Alrighty. Now, the next thing we have to do is we should probably get Fly, but Fly is over by Celadon City, and that's over this way. So, yeah. We'll do Seafoam Islands next time, I guess. Because right now, we need to friggin' fly. Oh, great. Oh. Right. We need a bike. 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 Bike, 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 b